Okay. <clears throat> so I'm like everybody, we're going to get a <clears throat> assalamu alaikum, everybody. We're going to get started pretty soon, inshallah. Um, I think we're still waiting for somebody, but we can um we can get started just to cover some uh, a few things before we get into the main point of the show. Um. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. This is the R2F show. Um, welcome, Mubarak. Can you open us up? In Alhamdulillahi, Nahmaduhu, and Astarinuhu, and Astarfiru, and Arudu Bilahi, men Shuru, and Fusina, women say ye at your Malina, men ye had Hilla, who fell a model la, women you will fell a had yella, which had a lay la, who after Hula Sharikala, which had a name Mohammed and Arbdu, who was all right. So, um, <clears throat> we're doing a quick pop up show. Uh, we're expecting a, a guest to come on. He should be on soon, inshallah. But um, before we get started, for anybody who's watching, it's the R2S show, um, representing the Return to Fitra uh, group, where we talk about spiritual abuse, uh, deviating from the path of Islam, and we talk about it in hopes of giving dawah and helping people return to the straight path of Islam, away from any deviancy, corruption, and falsehood. Um, so this, that's, that's the crux of our show. That's the crux of our group of what we're trying to do. And we have a bunch of volunteers that work towards this effort. So just a few things before we, um, get started. Um, just a couple of announcements, uh, that we didn't get to cover last week. Uh, the, I know some individuals were, um, waiting for a possible interview or debate with someone who was claiming to be Hassan Ali in our chat room, in our chat boxes. Uh, it's been confirmed that that was not Hassan Ali according to Hassan Ali. Um, so it was just somebody posing as him. Um, and uh, so we will not be wasting our time by scheduling anything on, I think it was December 8th or something like that. But um, we, we would encourage that individual okay. to, um, to have some courage and still come forward under their real identity, if they have something they believe in, they could uh, step forward and uh, and they could, um, you know, support their beliefs in a pleasant conversation. Um, and the other thing I wanted to address is there's, you know, just from browsing the comments and stuff, and this is really for the TMOA apologists. And there's one thing that we do not do is that we do not create shows based off of comments based off of you know whatever trolls are leaving in the comment section of our videos if you have something to say and if you have questions if you disagree with what we're doing or you have something you want to present to us you are welcome to contact us directly comment sections are not appropriate place and just to address the concern that a lot of people are trying to bring up regarding our last show um, which you talked about the halal marriages that mubarak jalani was involved in um we as far as R2F is concerned, we do our due diligence, which is that we go through extra scrutiny to make sure the information that we're getting is reliable. Um, yes, I agree. And we, there is no Islamic um, ruling or criteria for that when you're speaking out solely to prevent evil or stop an evil, we are not a Qadi court, we're not punishing anybody, we're not giving anybody any taqziria according to Sharia, we're simply speaking out in hopes of stopping a wrong in accordance to the hadith where Sulaysalam said that to stop wrong you stop it with your hand you speak out against it or you hate it in your heart and hating it in your heart is the weakest form of faith so we are speaking out against the wrong because we cannot stop it and as far as islamic islamically is concerned we do not have to reveal our sources and if you use a little bit of common sense and we're talking about a spiritually abusive cult and we have sources that are inside TMOA, outside of TMOA, affiliated with TMOA, have family members that are in TMOA. Uh -huh. If these people come out publicly, they will have some backlash. There will be some negative consequences to that. So we protect our sources. So anybody that 
wants to come tell us something is afraid of being exposed, we will never do that. And anybody that wants us to, especially TMWA apologists, this is our stance. You want proof of things? We want proof of things. We are the first ones to ask for proof. The same scrutiny that you're trying to give us for the, the things that we're presenting to you, this is the same scrutiny that you should have done with your beliefs. This is the same scrutiny you should have done with deciding to follow Sheikh Mubarak Jelani. It's the same scrutiny that you should have done with anything you do that's Islamically, is ask for proof and evidence. And the proof and evidence is that we have provided for every single one of our claims has been overwhelming for any reasonable person to make a very good judgment that the claims that we make, have been making, that we continue to make, are all true. So I just wanted to address that real quick until we, um, before we get started with our show. And today we have our brother, I believe he's under the name Sharice, but uh, introduce yourself to the, to, to the community, brother. Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yeah, my name is, um, most people know me as uh, Du Sabor. Uh, well, and in, 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 actually in Jamaat, but um, okay. Eric Harmon, you know, you can Google my name and it comes up, you know what I mean? It, you know, it's a lot, you know, to it, but to keep it plain and keep it simple, you know, just call me, you know, I, I'm, some people call me Big Easy, some some people call me Big E, some people right. call me Boy, whatever, you know, like that, so, you know. Okay. And and uh, tell us a little bit about how, like, you know TMOA or how you're connected to the, the group of TMOA. Well, I became, uh, actually, I became Muslim in uh, 1992. Uh, I was fresh out of college. I went to Clemens University. And um, the uh, a brother, I don't, want, I don't know if you want me to name, well, I'm just mad, you know, he's a real good brother. You know, he gave my shahada. You know, he was, uh, you know, I was playing, you know, well, I was over in Philadelphia, you know, employed by the Eagles. And, and and my father was already in it, my stepfather. You know, I, I do Sammy, you know, so um, I haven't seen him in years. And then when I saw him, he told me to go around around the corner, you know, alongside New Jersey. So I went around there and uh, Malana Hameen was there. Good brother, love him to death. And, um, Abdul Samad, I believe they, they were the only two there, I believe. But anyway, you know, they started telling me about Islam and, you know, I, I liked it. And then the first thing I did, I went home, you know, and told my older brother about it. So we both came back, you know, and he sat there for like an hour or two hours and just, you know, brothers, you know, explaining to us, you know. So a couple of weeks after that, I became Muslim. You know, um, it was a test for me, you know what I'm saying? Because I was, you know, a, a, um, a so-called entertainer. You know, I was, I was on, on the squad, Philly, uh, the Eagles. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, going, you know, going over there and uh, over in Philly and then coming back, you know, you know, I had to address, you know, a few things because things were being brought to me, you know, but yet and still, you know, my line Hamim, you know, he helped me out. He gave me some literature, you know, and I take it back to him, you know, because I was, you know, facing Reggie White, you know, he questioned me this and, and uh, a couple of other them guys, you know what I mean? Because Reggie used to always have this thing on Thursdays. So, you know, I, I'm not the type of one to just sit back and just hear things and I know it's not, I know it's not right and I say something and then, you know, and, and we kind of like butted head to head, him and I, you know, he just basically, basically asked me, what do you think? Because they was talking about Malcolm X and I was, I was in the Malcolm X real heavy back then. So, yeah. you know, me, me and him had it, you know, mm -hmm. back and forth. So I bought him some, some facts and then they just, you know, because uh, Keith, Keith Jackson, he was a tight end. So when mm -hmm. I came to the doors, you know, he came, you know, I had some Ahmed D that, you know, and I gave him to him. So they all, you know, about four or five of them, they was in the, was in the you know, a little circle and they were like, you know, after about 20 minutes, half hour, they came, bought, they uh, bought, bought him back. Keith Byers brought him back to me because he was uh, two, cubicle, two cubicles from me. He uh -huh. said, well, you know, you know, you, you believe what you believe and I believe what I believe. You know, we believe what we believe. <laughs> there ain't no problem, but they respect me after that. Yeah. You know, so... um. And just just to chime in here, so if the, for the younger generation that doesn't know, Reggie White is a, a famous defensive end, a Hall of Famer, 
and he's also uh he's like a deacon or something like that as well too right like a, he's, yeah, yeah. he's really a, yeah yeah i think uh, right i think reggie wright passed away now that, and then he reggie wright yeah 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 but you know he he was really uh he, he was into the, the Hebrew stuff, at, you know, before he passed, you know what I mean? So he was always questioning, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, so, but he was, a, he was a good dude though. You know, he was a real good yeah. dude. But yeah, that was my indoctrination, you know, me, me, you know, me getting into a slab, you know, and at that time I really, I wasn't really practicing. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, you know, I had to zeal, you know, like everybody had to zeal when they first, you know, you hear something that's, that's being yep. dropped. And it's like, mm-hmm. what? What are you talking about? You know, you start with <laughs> you know, but, yeah. So, um, so Alhamdulillah, um, your interest into Islam, uh, but uh, how about your interest into TMOA? I, I won't get into whether Islam and TMOA are synonymous, but uh, you, you mentioned <laughs> it to Islam, yes. Uh, but how did you wind up, uh, you know, um, with the, uh, you know, the Sheikh Jalani, uh, or or kind of, you know, getting in with with that crowd, like. For real, for real. Because I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> Maybe I don't look the same. I remember you, uh, <laughs> brother. You and my dad used to do some business uh, together back in, like, probably this had to have been, like, uh, I don't know if it was before 2000 or not, but uh, he was, my, my dad talk? was, like, a, like a salesman. Uh, um, Daoud. Daoud Abdul Sabor uh, in Tennessee. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when I, yeah. I came down there, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So that's yeah. I, I remember you from then. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah so I, I've I've seen you uh, around, and uh, we've uh, we've talked before way when I was a I was a young young man. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, so how did you? What was your initial thoughts of being introduced to TMOA, and kind of how did you settle in, or did you ever settle in uh, really with uh, with them? Yeah, I mean, I, I was like, um, I was with the crew, um, Sabor, Soldier Meg, McNelson. Um, you know, we pretty much came, uh, uh, Blue Jabbar, you know, his, his one of his sons is uh, Hafiz now. You know, mm-hmm. you know, we all came down the same time, you know, okay. late night, you know, came down there, you know, down to Virginia, you know, at the same time. You know, and what drew me, what really drew me down there was a camaraderie, you know, I come from discipline, you know what I'm saying, you know, and anybody who know, who been in school, you know, when you, you're going to get discipline or you're not going to get this, or you're going to flunk out, you know what I mean, they're going to they gonna dismiss you, whatever, you know, so I come from discipline, not just from scholastically, but, you know, athletically, you know, so mm. when I first visited down there, uh, um, Abdul Jabbar, you know, I loved it, you know, he, he really was very, very good hospitality, you know, and then, you um, like anybody else, you know, um, that came down here initially, you know that 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 was the that was the uh, ultimate pull, you know what I mean? You know, coming down there, you know, and you know, my father was he was already down there, my step pop, you know, after Sam, you know, he he was already down there too, so he was he was actually coming up to Jersey, you know, asking me, come on, you know, come on, you know, and I was already doing my thing, you know, business wise, you know, up there. So I want to visit him, you know, and that's what, that's how I met, Abdul. I went down and met Abdul Jabbar, you know, like that, man. So, but then all of us coming down together, you know, it, it, that's what solidified me to stay there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I brought, I brought all, and I didn't have nowhere to stay. I had, I had three or four vehicles. I, I, <laughs> I a couple trips, to, you know, to bring the vehicles down, you know, and, and, and just, you know, and I used to, you know, and um, where I live. I lived in Muhammad Ali's house because because he wasn't he wasn't there at the time, you know he was over, o- overseas. But you know we all lived a couple of about four or five of us lived in his crib. We had permission to live in his house, you know what I mean. And that's you know and and um and I learned how to read I learned how to read Quran, uh, uh, Jalal uh, um, uh, Jalal Ghani uh, Abdul Ghani's mm-hmm. son. You know, I mean? you know he taught me how to read. You know and I really appreciate. It. I, you know when I got out of prison I. I, I saw him in the back of me when I stopped on the road. I got out mm-hmm. and I went and I went back. Yo, man, I really, I really want to, you know, appreciate, you know, I'll tell you I appreciate what you did for mm-hmm. me, man. You know, and I, I really loved it. You know what I mean? What, you know, just but I, I I really wanted to do it. You know what I'm saying? So I know what it is, you know, with seeing that type of discipline and, and having it, you know what I mean? And then you exercise when you exercise the discipline and you see yeah. other people having that type of discipline, you drawn to it. Yeah. So in a nutshell, mm-hmm. yes. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know. After some time, 
you know, other people, they start coming and seeing what we were doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, yeah. we with no administration, you know, because administration, they was they were, you know, against us doing what we were doing. In, in a nutshell, mm-hmm. you know, they had a puppet, you know what I mean, in place. Like yeah. I said, named, you know, a mayor at the time. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? You know, who ain't had no heart, you know, to deal with mm-hmm. the cats who was coming down, you know, and, 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 and interjecting. You know, taking monies. Mm. You know, what I mean, taking they took three thirty, forty thousand dollars. You know that we were raised. You know what I'm saying? Wow. But but we still did what we did. Blau Bimba, you know what I'm saying? All of these. You know, we came together and built that mosque. It was us. Yeah. You know, at Shakur. You know what I mean? Electrician. You know, Shakur. You know, his son. You know, playing pro ball. Whatever. You know, he was the he was in charge. And mm. if it wasn't for him, you know what I mean? It wouldn't have got done. But other yeah. cats, start, you know, trying to step in there, you know, to, you know, to throw monkey wrenches and, you know, to, you know, to cut it off, you know, but we still, yeah. you know, stood our ground. You know what I mean? So me personally, you know what I mean? You know, I was security guy. I loved, you know, that, that I, that's what I was into, you know, and yeah. I loved it. You know, mm-hmm. I used to get up one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning with them uh, 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 um, wolf dogs, you know, and I used to walk the perimeter. Mm. You know what I mean? I used to walk the perimeter. Even in the rain, put my poncho on, and I, you know, because I enjoyed it. Yeah, that's what I used to love, and everybody know that. You know what I'm saying? Every, you know, every everybody know what I, what I was down, what I was into. You know what I mean? And was there was there anything as far as like your involvement? You know, because it seems like you, you came to TMOA, and, and what what attracted you to the group is the brotherhood, the camaraderie, right. the discipline. That's it. You know, doing and, that, and that's what attracts a lot of people that come from the outside that aren't born into it. Is you see the brotherhood and you know, because right. generally like ninety nine point nine percent of the people are just good people trying to do what they think right. is right. right. What are some things that started coming up there? Like, listen, this isn't right because you mentioned like money being used, puppet administration. What are some other things that started making you go like, hey, this this may not be right? Well, you caught like. <laughs> You, you call, y'all guys, y'all call it spiritual abuse, right? Mm-hmm. But people my age, a little younger, a little older, but mm-hmm. they can reflect. And I told you, back some things that I'm going to say that I would say that you guys can't really, you know, it's not registering. You know what I'm saying? Maybe right. or maybe more, more like, but for people my age and older, you know, they're going to be able to, you know, re, you know, relate to it. You know, and and basically, when I'm talking about you, like I said, you guys call it spiritual. I, I, we call it spiritual hustle. Mm. You, know what I'm you know, spiritual yeah. hustle. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean? it's always been. It's, you know, it's always been done. Yeah. You know, the big the big daddy grace, father divine. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, you know these these guys back in the day. You know, you know what I mean they took advantage of ignorance. You know, and 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 black people always looking for a savior. You know what I mean? Mm. So you know it's, it's it's been like that, you know, because you gotta understand it ain't that far back from our forebears what they came from. Yeah. Without without with with, with 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 no kind of intuition to help, you know, no no kind of no kind of help. Yeah. So, you know, we free you know, our forebears free willing. So we got culturally conditioned, you know what I mean? Mm. We got culturally conditioned to continue to look for that type of stuff. You know, yeah. and, and not and not and, and having you know and, and having an ignorant mind, you know, not being able to, to discern the right and the wrong. Mm. When you when you ignorant, you don't you know it's hard. Yeah. You know, what I mean? so you're gonna fall for you know for a person with a good tongue because it's happened. Big Daddy Grace, Father Divine, you know, cats like that. They you know mm-hmm. they made millions. You know, mm-hmm. and then if you look at the reverence today, the you know all these passes, you know, they still doing it today. Right. So, you know, talking to my brothers and sisters, you know, what I mean, my age and, and, and older, you know, I mean, you got to relate to it. You have yep. to relate to it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 these foreigners, these people, they people study us. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, they study us, you know, and you got to understand why they how, how they feel so comfortable. These foreigners feel so comfortable to come into our hoods and live with us. I mean, to and, and, and extract do business right there. You know what I'm saying? And then take that money to do to two different places. They take it mm. overseas, and then they also take it back to their community amongst the white people because the white, you know, they live in, they live with the white people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for us, you know, they we always been exploited. 
spiritually hustled, economically hustled. You know, you know, it's yeah. always been like that for years. So, you know, we become so numb with it. You know what I mean? So when, when the simple stuff comes up, because it's a simple thing to look at. The spiritual abuse that we went through in this yep. in the DMOA, it's, it's simple. It's too simple. <laughs> it becomes difficult for people to understand it. Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. think it has to do with people thinking that they're too smart to have fallen for this or it couldn't happen to them? Like, I, I think a lot of people, no. they, they, no, you don't think so? No, heck no. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, heck no. no. Because I'm telling you, man, it's just, you know, I, you, you got a lot of individuals, man, especially, in, you know, in the administration, right? Mm -hmm. What I see, you know, I, I, I think about, I think about Nabi Muhammad. So when I read the Sidra, right, mm -hmm. I, I, I was in prison. I read it twice, right? And I cried, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. I could, I could, you know what I mean? I cried because I, I didn't know all the stuff that he'd been through. Like, I mean, that really literally cried. I'm like, wow, I didn't know. Right. Yeah. And then, mm. and then I had a lot of time to reflect. You know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, on cats, you know, and I'm like, dad, I remember, you know, he had heard somebody was, you know, constantly being in, in a mosque, you know, and he went in there and, you know, and gave it, you know, and chopped some wood or something like that, yeah, chopped some wood. You know, mm -hmm. gave the brother, you know, Sahaba the wood, you know, and gave him the tool to go, you know, look, you got to work, mm -hmm. right? You know what I mean? So it's always, it's a mentality, you know, yeah. and, and and what I, when I'm seeing, what I've seen when I was there, which made me don't even want to go back to that, you know what I mean? Just, this is myself, an individual like that, you know, it's greedy, it's greed, mm -hmm. and it's laziness. Mm -hmm. You know, people, you know, the cats, especially in the administration, they don't want to, they don't want to, it, it seems like they don't want to, not, not to, it seems like they don't want to fend for themselves. Yeah. It seems like they don't want to work. Yeah. And that's, you know, it's a, you know, it's what we also got to put in us as men, you know, you, you, you know I mean, you feel good about mm -hmm. work. You feel good about when you come home to your, yeah. you know, your ace boom tune. You feel good. You know what I'm saying? You take your shoes off, boom, you know, you let, you put that work in. But when you, you yeah. know what I'm saying? How can, a per, how can a brother, how can a brother feel good about going home you know, put this, you know what I'm saying, and you ain't putting no work in. All you doing is, you know, what I mean, feeding off the people. Uh, 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 there's a, there's a, no there's sense. a, there's a quote or a, a statement that one of our um, early members of R2F uh, sister had said about um, the way that, like you mentioned, lazy. And I always remember this quote because it made such such a lot of sense, and I felt it when she said it. Is that the way that members in TMOA and it's probably the same for any cult group, the way that the, the way their Islam is, it's a very lazy version of Islam because it doesn't require you to think unless you just submit to whatever is going on and you don't take like any ownership in your own path or your own religion. You're just like, oh, this person's making the decisions. They said, this is right. I'm not gonna think, I'm not gonna question anything. So like that laziness as far as like not even working and just practicing your deen applies on both sides. But I had a question about like, cause you mentioned administration a, a few times now there's there's certain people like when they separate from tmoa or they start finding out that things are wrong they get to this point where they only associate the wrong with the administration that's in the united states now do you hold the leadership that's in pakistan as far as like mubar jelani and his family do you hold them responsible or accountable for anything that's been going on in tmoa family this is common sense. This oh, is, oh, my bad. This, this, this is this is common sense, right? Mm -hmm. How is it that we, like you got you, you you got messages, right? That get to the lay. You know what I mean? Like one of the messages. I mean, we all have heard the different messages. The mm -hmm. shake and see what goes on in your bedroom. You better make sure as you know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yep. Right? Yep. But yet and still, you have this same particular sheikh who is to know these particular things, appoint an administration to, to, to administer over the people, and then come to find out he's a faggot. You know what I'm saying? How is that? 
Yeah, how, how, exactly. How you, you going to point somebody? You you supposed to be the ace boom boom. You supposed to be the you know the you know the one with the you know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying. How yep. is it that you going to appoint somebody? I mean, look, I ain't trying to really you know send no aspir. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. It ain't bash nobody nothing like that. But I'm just trying to get people to understand. You know, you got to read yeah. it. It's simple. No, that's yeah. a that 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 is a very very valid point. I never I never actually put that together. But yeah, I mean, hey, I mean that that would definitely uh crush the the theory that he has any clue of what goes oh, on man. in people's bedrooms. Yeah. That's his one, man. Yeah, it's just I won. Yep. Yep. We can we can go. I mean, if we just because see a lot of times, man, people make things difficult. That's don't. It's not difficult. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's too. It's and that's why I said it's too simple for people to keep it simple. It's too simple for people. A lot of people to keep it simple. Oh, now it can't be that simple. You know what right. I mean? It's, it, it just can't. You know. Yes, it is that simple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just think. A lost one dollar all give us this. Yeah. He expects us to use this. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Your brother, when I came out of prison, that's the time I got jammed up. I saw him. He was one of the cleavers. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He hugged me in the back, boom, 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 you know. And I turned around, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm already feeling a certain way about this character, right? Mm -hmm. So he sit down, we chopping up, boom, you know what I mean? I ain't letting him, you know what I'm saying? Know that I'm, I'm feeling a certain way and all that, but I'm all in the back of my mom, like, yo, you know. But anyway, he had the nerve to tell me that my buddy, my friend, the person that I love the most is a freaking munafic, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I got up, I got up, turned my back, walked to the door, you know, to the counter. I had to get myself together, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. saying so, doing so. Look, you know what I mean? It just, how is it so that anybody can say something like that who is, who, who is not a sellif, let alone a sellif, you know what I'm saying? But they, but they, yeah. they way after. You yeah. know what I mean? You, you know, you trying to tell me that you know somebody who is better than Umar Raylan, who, who, who was afraid that he he thought that maybe he was a munafic. Uh, mm. You trying to tell me that you know somebody who is better than Uthman, who is better than Hazra? What? Ibn Mas'ud. Yeah, these are heavyweights, and we all know that the Prophet Muhammad said that something. if you, we want to look at the best of time, we look at him and him and the Sahaba. We look at him and the Sahaba, and then yep. after that, we look at the Tabi, the ones who they taught, the Tabi'in. Yep. And then we, then we look at the ones after them, the ones that the Tabi'in taught, which is the Tabi Tabi. That's the that's the best. Yeah. And if anything that they did that happened on, if it if it if it adversely, if it if, it's, if it contradicts today, we, that's the Isnad. We gotta leave that stuff alone. Now, got a question. So. The individual, the, the Khalifa, who's a, for anybody that doesn't know the terminology, this is someone that's a, what, like the top, the top administration in TMOA, right? Um, now, when they told you a, this person was a Munafik, what were they, why were they saying that? Like, what was the basis that, like, what did this person do that they said, this person is a Munafik? And, um, and I was, if I can just jump in there real quick. And, uh, we don't you can feel free to 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 say the names of these people i mean you don't have to keep the names out unless you just don't feel comfortable doing that but you can feel free to uh to put the names faces to names and names to stories or whatever i mean this is not something that um i mean these these are things that um you know people right. should right. Hold, uh, hold, should, hold, should hold, know hold, 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 hold. yep chill, chill. you know the, the okay. thing is sorry. this sorry, sorry. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. I had to do some reflection earlier, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my reflection was this, even though if I go around certain individuals, I feel a certain way, mm -hmm. I know that they have wives, I know that they have children, yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they may even have grandchildren, you know, so I don't want this thing to trickle, you know, somewhere, some way it gotta cut off, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not, I don't wanna be, I don't want to be the, the vessel or the vehicle, you know, to, 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 I don't know. Some people weak, some people strong. 
You know, we all know some people do the craziest things. They've been backed up in the in the corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. We think that they so we think that they so spiritual. We think that they so strong, but we don't know. Mm-hmm. So we get to saying certain things, certain certain people's names, you know what I mean? And then they get the wives, damn, I ain't that, I ain't know you was, you know, you know, and their sons and daughters looking at them sideways, like, whoa, I ain't know you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Because you best believe I want to run it like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the way up to, even I told you, man, what? Yo, there's some things, you know, that I yo, know, <laughs> characters, man. There's some real deep characters, and everybody knows. I'm not, I never raised my hand for no administration position, nothing like that. I was just a plain lay person. Look, I, I love people. Mm-hmm. My pop loved people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I never flaunted my, you know, what I did, my accolades. And, you know, I never did that. Never. Yeah. You know, in order to get, you know, in with somebody, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm just a plain person. So I'm saying to you, you know, or anybody else, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, 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 I ain't trying to create no bad blood amongst the people. Right. So in order, you know, I mean, that's my reason and not, you know, mm-hmm. now certain names like Muhammad Ali, you know, look, his name is already out there. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jelani, you know what I'm saying? His name is already out there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just reiterating, you know what I mean? Yep. There's there's one thing that we try to follow as as our group, just so anybody knows, is that um we we for the most part we try to protect people's identities unless it's something that by exposing their identities, it will stop a greater harm. Right. For instance, with the halalas, our position from R2F is whenever we learn about any halala and we learn about everybody involved, we will expose the men. We will not expose the women to the best of our abilities. And also when there's talking about individual transact or transgressions, we try to limit it to people that are in leadership positions because they are now in the position of abusing people. So we expose their faults. But if it's regular people and their faults and it has nothing to do with it's gonna we I mean we know a lot of stuff. Yeah. So like we're and on the same that's page. Really what, yeah, that's what I was getting at, uh, really, because some of these people, like at least uh, I I think I know the individual you're speaking of. And some of these people are even though they might not be a leader technically, but they have certain things that the Sheikh has said about them or, or certain things, there's a certain aura about them or certain things that these people, some of these people that are put on these pedestals, I know they have wives and children, but the people that they are abusing also have wives and children, these things. And in order for those grandchildren and grandparents and, and all these people involved to all the other people to have, uh, hopefully get out of the situation they're in, um, then the one person or the handful of leadership or these people who put on these fake pedestals, uh, they need to be kicked down off of them. But I understand your position fully and I, I support it actually. So yep. no worries. Yeah. Because, you know, the whole thing is, like you said uh, earlier, brother, you know, um, you know, th- this is not a court. You know what I mean? This is not a court. You know, we're not trying to castrate. We, you know, this is not a court. We're just yep. trying to stop this. We, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, you guys, I, I support y'all, you know, with stopping mm-hmm. this, this, this illness, yeah. because it, it's a disease, you know, with that's running rampant, you know. But it's too many, it's so many, it's so many individuals, you know, that have convinced themselves that they, they did not sick. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, it is, it is, it's a sickness, man. You know, if you can't see, you can't look in the mirror. If you can't look at your brother, so you know, was doing these type of things, these, these, you know, these, these, these crimes, you know, and you think it's okay. You know what I mean? And you know, and I drank the Kool-Aid when I was when I was in it like that. You know, we all drank mm-hmm. the Kool-Aid. You know, yep. but I'm gonna tell you real rap, what it was for me personally, I was ignorant. Mm-hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, that you know what people, you know, when I heard this and I saw, you know, that it was, you know, that it was that was crazy, it was it was a crazy crime. Mm-hmm. But it was my 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 light bulb moment was when when the lost one thousand allowed me. To 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 live with Musa Abu Salam, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. for more than three years, right? Okay. We lived together, and and, and uh, he brought, you know I asked him to teach me, you know what I'm saying, and he brought his two degrees. They had I remember from uh, 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 I think it's Islam, uh, Islamic Jamia and Islamic Naimia, you know what I mean. He brought he brought his certificates. He said you know when he, he said I gotta go home and get it. he got went home and got them. You know, and they had mud packs on with the seal from the universities on there. You know, and he told me it's imperative for me to show you this. And he gave me his, the card from his last teacher, Maulana Safra Saab. 
I believe his name was, who, who got killed by the uh, Taliban, you know, got killed. But anyway, he had told me one of the things that stick out to me, he said, look, whatever is taught to you, you know, and I teach you, you know, you always cross reference. Mm -hmm. Always not, not to, not to disprove, but to affirm, to approve. And mm -hmm. I say that to say, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's imperative for us, you know, to question these things, to bring them out to light, to let people know, you know what I'm saying? About these ills, that this disease that's running rampant, it's imperative because if it doesn't, you know what I mean? It can leak, it can leak, leak, it can leak into our homes mm -hmm. and it comes back door because who's more patient than the shaitan? Hey, look, he, you yep. know, he got patience. <laughs> He yeah. may not get this way, he may not get there this way, he may not get near that, you know, but he patient. Yep. You know, he know all the tricks in the trades, you know, and that's why I made mention about Big Daddy Grace and Father Divine in them. You know, this is mm -hmm. history. You know what I'm yep. saying? We can relate, we should be able to, you know, my generation, we should be able to relate to these characters. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How they bamboozle hook went, you know, coming in these, you know, and getting these this money and yep. elevating yep. themselves. Yeah. Now I mean? is um now and if you've watched some of our videos, one of the things I want to preface before I ask this question is that, and I mentioned it earlier for those that are just coming on, is we have our own process um, as far as um, verifying information. There's not one person in R2F making decisions. Um, we make them as a group. Um, everybody chimes in. And as you said, we, we try our best to, our, to the best of our ability to support everything we do with the Quran and Sunnah. And we check it with other students of knowledge. We check the scholars. We, we do our best to make sure we're making decisions right. Um, so this last situation, um, we got information from an anonymous source that we still don't even know who it is. And we did not report out on the situation because we don't know who you are. We don't know if you're reliable, but we started investigating. And then we found reliable sources that verified the information that reported, we reported. And I'm just gonna tell the, cr the, the, the crowd that you, this, the, the guest we have here tonight, he was not one of these individuals that we used as far as verifying the information that we had, just to make that clear. Um, but other people, after we reported our show last week about the halal marriages with uh, Matthew Gardner, Muhammad Ali, um, and uh, Sheikh Jelani, uh, other people came forward and said, oh yeah, I know about that too. And could you tell us um, in the crowd that's, that's listening what you know to be true about the situation with Muhammad Ali and his halala marriage. All right. Well, let me, you know, let me, let me, let me uh, put down the four. Let me put down the 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 the, the, the groundwork first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's not. It's not like I don't. You know, I don't know him. Right. right. Like I said earlier, we used to. We was live. Me. I was. I was living in his house before he came back from Pakistan. I don't know. if It was ninety nine, two thousand. Right. I mean, it was. It was right around ninety nine, two thousand. Something like that. I'm mean, right around that era, that 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 time frame. All right. When he came, when he came back, <clears throat> found out that I used to play ball. Right. He was really into the fan, the fantasy football thing from the advent. This is way back then. You know, that's, right. his, that's his puppy. He loved fantasy football. So we should chop it up all the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We should take the yeah. You know, take the, when we had to uh, uh, get get rid of the dogs. You know, we used my truck when we took the. I mean, we should we used to always kick it. We used to kick it like that. And, mm -hmm. and um, I was up on post one day and he walks up, this is doing, this is doing broad daylight, right? He walks up to me, I'm on post and he, and uh, first he says to me, you know, something, I don't know why he referenced this. It kind of like threw me for a loop. He said, these people, <coughs> he said, well, these, you know, these people, something, right? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it, it's like, it's like when somebody say something to you in a word or a phrase, you know, you, you might say a whole book, but it's one uh -huh. word and it's one phrase that catch you, right? So right. I'm like, he said, these people. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. These people, I'm these people. What are you talking, you know? But I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he said that, you know what I mean? But it kind of like, I, I had to put it, you know, trying to put it together. And then my reason why I didn't give no comeback, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because me talking to him, and it's like, you know, you talking to somebody and then all of a sudden, you know, you've been talking for, for the longest time, you know, and all of a sudden, you know, he comes sideways like these people. What? What are you talking about? So that's the first thing he said, right? And then he, right. he goes on and explained to me how when he was in Pakistan, Sheikh Jelani divorced his wife 
And before I say this, right, I swear by a lost one dollar mm. that lost one dollar inflict any bad on me here, now, today, and the hereafter if I'm telling a lie. Mm. This is 100% truth. And if anybody got any problem with that, come to me, you know, if they know any, if they try to say anything different from Muhammad Ali or anybody else, you say the same thing. I have no problem saying that this is unequivocally, no ambiguity, truth. Mm. 100. How many love? You know what I'm saying? He came up to me, he told me, he said, his, uh, Sheikh Jelani's, uh, he, he divorced his wife and that he, uh, uh, he, he got Muhammad Ali to marry his wife back or to marry his wife, right? Mm. You know, now again, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm ignorant. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I ain't know, no, you know, I know a little teeny bit of Dean, so I ain't put it together. Like, you know, I ain't know it was, you know, you know what I'm right. saying? But anyway, he said, while he was in there doing his thing, consummating, you know, Sheikh Jelani was banging on the door. Like, what's taking you so long? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's taking you so long? You know, that type of thing. I'm like, whoa, that dude was crazy. You know mm. what I mean? So he felt yeah. kind of awkward with that. You know what I mean? So yeah, the, the first, the premise, and then, you know what I mean? Now, you know what I said? That's what I remember the most. Right. That's what stick out, you know, and I, you know, things after, things before, you know what I'm saying? But that's unequivocal truth. Just, you know just real quick, okay, just I'm gonna ask this yeah. for the for the crowd, just real quick, so they can be clear. People's gonna say it, whatever, but we'll just say it so it's, we don't have to say it again. Has anybody come to you and tried to say, "Hey, say this. Let's get our stories together," or is this something you know straight from your own memory? The people have to hear because this is what they're gonna say. I know we know the responses. <laughs> they're gonna say R2F came and prepped them and they said, Hey, say this, say you remember this, say you remember that. So you can just say yes or no, just so that people can hear it. I don't I don't I don't let nobody piss in my ear telling me it's raining now. How many love? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get down like that. How many love? I'm, I'm just straight up, man. You know, anybody who know me, you know, I, I'm a I'm a plain guy, I love people. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I go, I go for you. If I like you like that, if I love you like, you know, I some brothers, you know what I mean? I tell them straight, I don't, I don't need to say for law's sake and all like I tell you, I love you. If I love you, you know what I mean? Look, I'm I'm yo, bro, I love you, bro. Oh, you, love. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, nah, ain't no, there's no coaching and nothing like I ain't never been down like that. Yeah. I so, even, like, you know, can, for me, you know what I mean? You know, for my coaches, my football coaches, you know, they had to, you know, go go other ways, and, you know, and I'm just telling you straight up. You yeah, know, I've never got you know, I've never been like that. Nobody just pushing me to do anything I don't want to do. Exactly. Humble law. So let, let me try to play uh a little bit of um uh defense or let me try to play a little bit of the angles that they're gonna try to play. Okay, so there's no crime in Jilani calling a brother over there to marry a woman who he has divorced. There's no issue. So did at did did Muhammad Ali uh, when he's telling you this story, did he? Well, he's like, I was in the room with my wife, and Jelani was knocking on the door. Did he at any time during the conversation? Did you feel like it was a, you know, he was doing what a man normally does with his wife, and he was interrupted, or was Jelani? Did he say, or did he insinuate, or that Jelani was banging on the door because Muhammad Ali was in there with? His work, Jelani's wife. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> listen, listen, man. You reaching? <laughs> uh, yes. Reaching, and, and I'm gonna tell you that because you know, what I mean, this this is how sometimes you you know, dean wise, you know, what I'm saying you gotta leave stuff like that alone. When I, you know, when a person comes, you know, what I mean, like I told you, with no ambiguity, you know, straight cut, you know, whatever. I can't, mm -hmm. I can, you know, when the brother called me yesterday, I ain't gonna name no need. I'm saying, you know, he asked me, look. I, you know, what you want me to say? You want my opinion? No, it's not my, my opinion don't matter. You know mm. what I mean? I'm telling you whatever it is, you know what I mean? It's, you know, and I swear by it. You know what I'm saying? If then you know, if you can't get it, you know, if a person, you know what I mean? Not you can't get it. I'm saying you're not you, uh, Mubai, but I'm saying right. if anybody can't get that, you said something wrong. Mm. Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> So ain't no, now, reason, it's so, ain't no reason to brownie that thing up or cut it, you know, come sideways. Right. You know, straight, so have straight, straight. has when you um have have you encountered any or learned anything about 
one of the main beliefs in Tamawe with the whole seven sultan uh, mythology. Have you heard anything about it? Have you done it? Have anybody tried to teach it to you or get you to believe in it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you almost, I won't slip that, but I've been, you know, listen, man, I don't, <laughs> I, for real, I don't know, mm -hmm. I don't know about it. Okay. I have somebody come to me and ask me, you know, what is the sixth sultan? Look, I'm learning. I'm learning from y'all guys and cats coming on, you know. And I, I'm cross wrapping like, yo, what is it for real? Because it never, I, I, I didn't care about that for real. Right. When I was getting down like when I was down in Virginia. I didn't care about that stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cats, you know, cats would be saying, oh, he's six old time. This, this, okay. You know, I never even took it no further than just what was said. You know what I mean? I never asked, well, that going, bro. What, what is the six old time? Because I didn't care. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I look at you, when I meet anybody, I don't care who they are, the president of the United States, I don't care. Look, I treat you, you my brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? From a brother, any Muslim to a, you know, and anybody, you know, all the Khalifas, you know what I'm saying? I, man, any any of the brothers, you know, the brothers that passed away, the Khalifas, you know, you know what I'm saying? They some, you know, to me, you know what I'm saying? They come to me, you know what I'm saying? You know, and give me yeah. presents, stuff like that, man. I'm like, you know, because Look, I, I didn't care about who you, you know, no titles and nothing like that. That that didn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't yes. care if you, you know, you're the quarterback. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I don't care if you can kick the ball real good. I don't, you know what I'm saying? We're on the same team, right? We yeah. all trying to get to the Super Bowl. But you get a lot of cats, you know what I'm saying? They don't want to practice, mm -hmm. right? They don't they don't want to get in the weight room. Yeah, they don't want to study, they don't want to study their plays. All they want to do is get in the game and play. And they don't go like that because you're going to mm -hmm. get hurt. And you're going to wind up pulling the wrong way. You're going to throw the ball. You're going to get interceptions. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're going to block the wrong person. You know, you're going to get hurt. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to get running backs hurt. You're going to get quarter. And that's what's happening. Families are getting hurt. People getting yes. hurt, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All Absolutely. because these people who are running and stuff like that don't know. They ignorant. Mm -hmm. And, and what, would, what would be like because because you had a lot of connections with people people that you know you cared about or still care you still care about because you're obviously on this on this show speaking out against the wrong because you care about these people what is your message to these people and especially the people that you that you're close with that you're close with that you had years that you spent together working you know sweating you know like it, I, I find like let me ask you a question real quick before I get to that the mosque that you helped build would you be able to go and pray there right now? I don't know. I never even tried. Mm. The last time I went up there was when I got out of prison. Shaq Diesel, uh, Shakur, he asked me to go because he wanted to go to his house up there and get and you know get get his belongings out of the house, you know, down there on the lower right, right where uh, Blue's house was at. You okay. know what I'm saying? So when I go yeah. up there, you know, we go up there. You know what I mean? And I saw the atrocity. They they tore his house. Man, they, 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 they destroyed this. I'm going to tell you, man, I swear by Allah lost one dollar. If somebody would have came out talking talking sideways, I was ready to do something right then and there. Man. Mm. Wow. I, was, I was so pissed off the way they did the property of, of another Muslim. That joint was crazy to me, man. Yeah. It was crazy. And I was waiting for somebody to come sideways, talking sideways, because I was going to... You know what I'm saying, though, man? Yeah. You know, it's, it's not a difficult, you know, rein it in. We all got to rein it in and keep it simple. Keep it plain mm -hmm. and keep it simple. You know what I mean? And that's where we can we can check and balance, you know? We know when, we know when somebody is pissing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And somebody calling it rain, thunder. No, it's not that. It's straight up it stinks, man. Yeah. It yep. stinks. And we, we've run into that a lot, especially lately, and in talking amongst ourselves of the people that are on the other side and not with the, the people that are on the fence or die hard, TM Wade. Like, we've presented so much information and so much evidence that it's at the point now where it's like, just like you said, like, listen, we're not going to argue anymore about whether this is piss or not. This is clearly piss. And if you want to keep drinking it, if you want to put hairs in it too, you can go ahead and do that. But we're going to move on to the next point of like, how do we get away from the piss? How do we stop letting this get near us? Because the people that still want to keep letting this drain on them, you know, maybe they like R. Kelly. I don't know. But 
we're going to move away from it and move on to the next step. All right, let me, say, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this, please. All right. During the time when, when uh, uh, Umar read Long Island, when he was a Khalifa, right? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And this is what I told the brother when I came out of the Khalifa that, you know, you know what I'm saying, that came to me and, and told me that my, my ace was, was, was a monastic, right? And then he followed it up telling me, you know what I'm saying, you know, because he was trying to pull me back in. I used to give that cat $500 every, every month. I used to give mm. him $500. I used to give him, you know, that's at least $500 every month. You know what I'm saying? And that money's supposed to go to, you know, whomever, shake, you know what I mean? I know that nigga, but all I'm saying, you know what I mean? He's supposed to, you know, oh yeah, you like family, you family and all, you know what I'm saying? But the yeah. whole thing is, he tried to tell me when I came out, you know what I mean? After he told my man, you know, my man is, is a munafic, you know what I'm saying? That, look, brother, you know what I mean? It's all about hearing and obeying, right? Mm. But I'm saying, look, I gave him this situation, right? I said, look, I told him, I said, when, when, when Umar Ray Longhorn was the Khalifa, right? After, after a particular war, right? There was booty that was dispensed amongst the Sahaba, right? So he's up there giving directives to the Sahaba. So one of the Sahaba gets up, at least one, you know, gets up and say, I will not hear and obey. This is what I told the Khalifa, right? I said, I will not hear and obey. This is what the Sahaba told Umar. Umar didn't, you know what I mean, you know, bash him and, you know, get that nigga out of, you know what I'm saying, you know, kill him. And, you know, no. His son, Umar's son came up. He said, look, you know what I mean? He you know, he moved to the, Umar moved to the side. His son came, you know, came up. He said, he explained to the Sahaba, look, you see my, you know, in my own words, you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. You see, my father, he's big as heck. We mm -hmm. all you know, know the history. He's big. So with the boot, I gave him mine. That's why he mm -hmm. got two and everybody got one. You know what I mean? I don't have no. I gave him mine, which is the reason mm -hmm. why, you know what I'm saying, you thinking that he got more than, than everybody else. But I gave him mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then the, then the Sahabas, he said, now I will hear no back. That example is for everybody. I told that Khalifa, I said, look, if you went wrong, it's my duty to, 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 try, to try to find, what the heck is that? You question it. Mm. You know what I mean? And, and, and you, 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 it's our duty to question it. Yes. You just don't let it lie. You just don't let it lay. If it's something, if it's something shady, because, and that's why I referenced, you know, Big Daddy Grace and Father Divine and the, this crap been going on. And yep. they've been caught. These characters been caught, prison the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yep. There's too many, there's too many examples that we have as a black people, you know what I mean? It's from history. Yeah. We've always been taken advantage of, man. We got to stop yeah. letting these people come in, you know what I'm saying, and continue to take advantage of us, man. We got to cut that crap out, man. We got to yeah. cut it out. Yeah. Because too yeah. many people hurt, man, and too many people getting hurt, man. Yeah. So um, would you uh, would you um, would you be open to taking some questions? I know some people may have some questions. I haven't checked the chat yet, but if you want to answer yeah, any shoot. questions, you can. Yeah. Okay. So if y'all yeah, have any guys for our, for our uh, brother, um, uh, then go ahead and uh, and ask them before we wrap up. Um, that way you can get in there, and then um, then we will uh, then we'll, we then we can uh, uh, wrap up. Inshallah, if we have any questions, um, I didn't see any. Did we get, have any questions? Um, nope. Okay. We don't have any questions so far in chat, but if, we'll, we'll if you have questions, we post them. Inshallah. I, I got a question. Like you mentioned early on about, and maybe you can delve into it a little bit more further with, uh, with the, for the audience is, and I've heard it a, several times, a lot of times throughout these last several years, is about this idea that we have as um, African Americans that we need this quote unquote white savior. And like pretty much we always go to someone that doesn't look like us as like, they're gonna solve all of our problems. And like, in this case, you have someone that's from a totally different country, totally different race, has no idea about the the, the, the social system, the culture, and, he's, and he says some pretty bad things about the African-American people. You know, he said that we have a bastard culture. He said that if anybody, you know, we're not allowed to call each other's black or um, even one, one individual, very honored and respected Khalifa went to Africa and bought him a gift in one of the African style 
Thobes. And then he totally humiliated the brother. You know, it was like, how dare you give me this garbage? This has to be a joke. Why would you think I would ever wear this? Like, so wow. what delve into that a little bit about that, that social complex that we have as African-Americans to always like fall for these types of schemes. Uh, you mean what, what kind of schemes are you talking about? Yeah. Just like, you know, Delvin, why, why do you think it is that we fall for it? And, you know, how do we, how do we prevent ourselves from falling into it? Like, what's your advice for the people in regards to that? Well, history, history speaks loud. Mm -hmm. You know, at just, you know, go, go back to, I, I listen, you know, I listen to, um, one of the, one of the, uh, doctors that, um, She's a clinical psychiatrist, right? Her name is Dr. Joy DeGruy, right? Um, she put a book out, it's called, uh, um, oh, uh, Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome. And she correlate, she, 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 she put it together so clear how we have been, we have, we, we, we have uh, uh, been given a culture. We have, it's, it's called cultural, she says cultural conditioning. And it's true. Mm -hmm. And anybody who won't believe in cultural conditioning, you know, where did you learn how to cook at? I mean, just is something as simple as that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. My grandmom taught me, you know, it's, it's culture, right? Yeah. But you got all the ills from our forebears because you got to understand both white and black. You know, to go through the atrocities, right? And, you know, mm -hmm. because see, this makes sense. Yes, you know I'm saying from from all the illnesses that we, all the craziness that we going through today. You know, what I'm saying you, you yeah. got to go back because it has a root. You know what I mean? And that particular root is being, you know, it's the it's the it's the conditioning. You know, because our forebears never got any help, no help. We, you know, our forebears they winged it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they persevered. You know what I mean? Through all the atrocities, you know what I mean? All the mental, physical atrocities, man. And then that, it's like being, it's, it's, it's like, she used the analogy, right? You know, being, a, it was a lady, was in line, you know what I'm saying? And you know, and she had her children, she had, she had, a black lady had her two, two children, right? And it was a white lady, she had her children. The white lady had her children running, you know, just allow her children to go all over, running all around. But then the black, right. you know what I mean? Had her child, she was telling her child, you know, you know, you be cool, you know, just put them in check. Right. Let her let them be children. You know yep. what I'm saying? Because that's part of the conditioning that is being passed. Look, listen, we have to act, we have to act a certain way. And like I said mm -hmm. earlier, these foreigners, they know, they study, they study us. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What push how to push a button? What makes them angry? You know what I'm saying? What makes them happy? You know what I'm saying? They they come in. They know we don't. You know they we we don't know all the. You know what I mean all the um the the you know the the, the Arabic all. You know what I'm saying the history. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. But you go. I mean go back to 80s and 70s and 60s. You know they know that. You know what I mean. How go back to Far Muhammad mm -hmm. in the early the 20s. He was a Pakistani, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know what I mean he he, he feel like he was black though. <laughs> yeah, in, in Detroit. <laughs> Chicago, you know, he hoodwinked the he hooked with the, the hoodlums. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep. Right? Yeah. So I'm saying though, if he did it, right? You know, what makes you think this this is history? Yeah. It's a pattern. So all we gotta do, right? We got we got far to iron and we got far to keep our uh, far to iron. Everybody mm -hmm. gotta know this a lot, all that, you know what I'm saying? But you yep. got far to I mean, I mean, the far to keep fire, you know. What I mean? You got far to iron, everybody got to know. But you got to far to yep. keep fire. Somebody got to learn this stuff, man. Yeah. Somebody got, if it ain't everybody, somebody got to know, you know. What I mean, it's not just one individual. You got to, individuals got to learn this stuff, man. So, so those individuals can help to protect the people from people yeah. like, like, the, that, like, 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 you know, you know, yep. the individuals are going through this situation. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's okay, got to we had a question yep. coming. Oh, you got some? Mm -hmm. I got some like in the DM. Basically, uh, yeah. one question was I got two, but uh, so the first one was um, regarding uh, the, in, the the interview with uh, uh, Khalifa MJ, in which he 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 touched on the fact that 
Jelani told them, um, or they were under the understanding from Jelani that the Muslims in America were slaves. And so that is why uh, they were um, treated that way specifically. He had first dibs on the women and some of the things uh, in the way that the women were dealt with based on them, not that they weren't Muslim, but they were uh, considered as slaves. Did you, were, were you aware of any of that? And do you have any um, recollection of things like that going on? No, uh, no, nah, nah, it ain't, man, look, you know, I mean, I, I'm not gonna give no opinions, man, of what I think and all like that. I just, you know, right. look, just, you gotta deal with the facts, man. You know, okay. you go back to history, you understand what's been done in, in the past. And you have to, re we all have to relate it to the, to the present you know, so we can so we can tighten up the future. You know what I mean? That's that's our duty as Muslim people, man. You know what I mean? Because I, you know, we all got an answer. You know what I'm saying? And the people yeah. who are who are in authority position, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna tell you real rap. I, I said from the very beginning, it's about the people, right? Mm -hmm. Those people is too many individuals who are less fortunate. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're less fortunate, you know, to make moves. You know what I mean? They're less fortunate to speak out because, you know, they feel they feel constraint. You know what I mean? They feel constraint where they can't, they gotta, they're not gonna make a move. I know personally right. that. You know what I'm saying? I've yep. heard this, you know, you know what I'm saying? I've heard personally that. You know, so all I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming out, you know what I mean? And that's why I said from the very beginning, it's not a personal vendetta. It ain't no, you know, it ain't like that. But I'm just saying, you know, if Umar. You know what I mean? If if if, if a lost one dollar changed Umar, if a lost one dollar changed Hind or anybody else that was really crazy back then, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, they can change these individuals now. You know what I mean? And not to say that they like that. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm saying you, you, we got to go to the extremes: the extreme good, the extreme bad. You know yep. what I'm saying? So these brothers and all who are brothers and sisters, they are brothers and sisters. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have no ill feeling, like, you know what I mean, to a certain degree, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna be, you know, around them like that. I don't I don't chop it up with them. I'm just being real, you know what I mean? But the whole thing is, I know they're my Muslim brothers, so I give them space. I stay away from them all because I don't want to get myself into saying something wrong or doing right. something that's going to affect me right. later on. So, you know what I mean? Look, it's about the people. And I hope that they change. I hope that they change, you know what I mean? And have and so the people don't have to exit you know what I mean? From all that sweat equity they put into those those lands. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, the administration can hopefully the administration can change. That's you know what I'm saying, and start helping the people. Keep that money. You know, keep that money there, man, and help the people. Yep. Stop taking them thousands and thousands and thousands like the money they took. You know what I mean? From us, you know, 40,000, man. Do you know what they did with that thirty, forty thousand? Did they, they ever always, say anything? They all now nah, they take it up north. They take it to New York. Just, just mm. peep it. Every, but we all yep. know what happens on every E. Every E, cats from New York, they come around and they, you know, the, the fit the, you know, all the taxes, you know what I'm saying? Yep. It's collected. Yep. And what happens? They take it. Mm -hmm. They take it every freaking year, man. Yep. And our people in, in our facility, our, our, my neighbors, our neighbors, you know, need help. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And that's not good because yep. you know Seneca starts where it starts at home first, yep. right? So they, you know, what I mean, they live way up there. They, you know, what I'm saying, why all them yep. thousands of dollars going up there? And I know from in New York, once it comes to New York, it goes right to Pakistan. So, uh, one of the questions we had is, um, like you said, you're giving the one, the one uh, administrator like five hundred dollars, supporting him. Um, as far as like how one of the questions was, do you know of any, I know this, but I'll let you answer from your own knowledge of anybody that was committing crimes as far as like selling drugs or whatever and administration knowing about these crimes, but still taking their money to fund whatever they were doing. No. Okay. Even if, even if I, even if I knew, I wouldn't say. Gotcha. Uh, because that's a personal, you know, that's, that's, you know, Right. Again, you're not in the court. This is not a court. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, those yep. type of subjects, you know what I'm saying? We should just pass them right on. You know what I mean? Look, we know we're not going to ask that question. You know what I mean? That's a juridical thing. That's, you know, jurisprudence. Look, yeah, we're not no, you know, we're not no, you know, you know, I'm mean? no judge or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So I'm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't even try to spin it. You oh, know gotcha. what I mean? I'm not going to put my knobs into it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, you know, you know what I mean? Look, 
All right, so you know that's that's what we should do, man. Just keep that thing moving. Um, so I got a question. Um, it says, uh, what if Muhammad Ali just comes out and straight denies all of this? I mean, that's that's the question. Like, that's, what? that's on him. That's why I said. You know what I mean? I said what I said. You know, I swear by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. I swear, if I'm telling a lie, that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala give me the worst of punishment to this while I'm living and in the hereafter. If I'm telling a lie, now if mm -hmm. he can come forth and he can say the same thing, it's all it's all you know. Enough. It's enough said. It's enough said. Nobody can say no more because if it ain't no witnesses that was actually seeing what was you know. I wasn't near. I'm just telling you what was told to me by him. That's it. Point blank, period. You know I me? Mean? Yep. So if he's gonna ride and die with that to his grave, hey, no, he yeah. you know, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yep. That tell you what kind of person that a person is, you know what I'm saying? But yet still, yep. I'm not gonna look at him in sideways, you know, you know, that's my brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, yep. but if you want to ride like that, hey, you want to ride like that. I'm not riding like that. Yeah. So exactly. do you have do you have any uh personal because I, I know you you mentioned kind of he said you people kind of thing so do you have anything against this brother i mean do you nah, dislike man. him nah. i mean is it nah, you know nah, or no 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 muhammad okay. ali man he you know it's it's always been a you know a cordial thing with, you know what i'm saying it was not cordial but i'm saying that's my brother yeah you know what i'm saying that's that's my mm -hmm. brother so if i can't say a person is anything because i can't you know only a lost one only a person know and only a lost one dollar know in our time, point blank period. Yep. No shed, yep. no, no Malana, nobody can say that that person is XYZ, that he don't. Now, if we see him, you know, meeting with an FBI agent, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We see him, you know, you know, that's something, yo, I know that, I know that that man right there, you know, that he's yeah. an FBI agent, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, then, then you know, we got to make sure that, you know, like my situation, I've been, you know, and I ain't gonna name the name, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Brother knew. That the FBI agent, he was, you know what I'm saying? He was a informant. But yet still the boy gonna, you know, jam me up. That's how I got went to prison. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then the brother gonna come and apologize to me. You know what I'm saying? That he did what he did. He knew that the boy was an FBI and that he was an informant, a CI. And the sheriff is the one who told him and told Abu Issa, may Allah be pleased with him. Who mm -hmm. Abu Issa, I love, I, I love that man right there, man. Mm -hmm. That that brother right there was a genuine dude, man. I used yeah. to chop every time I used to come home. I used to stop every ask his sons. I used to stop all the time, and we used to chop it all the time. He the one who told me. Other than that, I would have known. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But I, I you know after I got after they let me out. You know what I mean? On my own recognizance. You know what I mean? I went to you know I went to the boy's door. You know what I mean? Y'all what the you know what I'm saying? But he wouldn't come to the door. And then later on, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's that day or later on. You know I'm down in my we next door neighbors. Mm. I mean, stop blood, you know what I mean? But yeah, I know it. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is, you know what I mean? He come and he apologized to me. You know what I'm saying? I put my hands in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, I don't want to do Look, man, yeah. come on. What? You what? Yeah. Who are you, man? Yeah. Now, Who did when you? that happened, did all that, all that bonding, all that work, all that camaraderie that you joined, was that support there for you once you got jammed up? Man. Or did everybody just abandon you? Let me tell you. Real rap, the same dude, same Khalifa that I was, I was uh, uh, passing on, right? At least five hundred every month, at least that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This character parked next door after that situation went down. This character parked right next door. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm seeing now. Prior to that, he coming to my house the whole night. You know what I'm saying? We chopping it up, and I'm like dumbfounded, like yo. You ain't even checking on my family. Yo, you know what I'm saying? But you mm -hmm. tell me that, you know, shots out did you know, you part of the family and all. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> Nick, what? You know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was only, yep. you know, it was only a few. It was a handful mm. that, you know what I'm saying, that I, that I still talk to this day. You know what I mean? Adeem, yeah. you know, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Uh, Musa, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know some some brother, you know what I'm saying? I, I have yep. no problem. I love these these dudes. You know, Muhammad Sadiq, you know what I'm saying? You know. You know, these cats, you know what I'm saying? I love them to the day, man. But these, you know, you know, other brothers, you know, it was, I'm going to tell you, the seller, you talk about the seller feed boys. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What happened 
the hustlers in Richmond, because I used to have Richmond on lock, you know what I'm saying? Because I used to be genuine people, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. The Farrakhan people, you know, the, the head dude of Farrakhan used to come to my store, bring his son, you know, mm -hmm. we sit down and talk, you know, because he said uh, um, Farrakhan told us to come and learn from the Muslims, you know what I'm saying? So, so we chop it up, you right. know what I'm saying? You know, and and and, and the Salafi boys come through, you know what I'm saying? And the hustlers, they coming through. And the hustlers, they raised thousands of dollars for me, man. You know what I mean? They they went looking for me. When I got out, I'm in front of my store. They come pulling up. You know, yo, Big Easy, we was looking for you. know what I'm saying? And two yeah. solid feet boards. You know what I'm saying? They put up three thousand dollars. You know what I mean? For a lawyer for me, man. Mm. Three stacks, man. I ain't talking. Mm. You know, all the money I put. You know what I'm saying? Cats come to me. You know what I mean? Look, I'm back. They make this trip. You know what I'm saying? Yo, take two thousand. You know, out of my. You know, you know, you know, you know whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm yeah. supporting. You know, cats. You know yep. what I mean? You know, yeah. when that stuff happened to me, you know what I mean? But I'm supposed to be cool. So in order for me, I got to digress. I had to digress. You know, a humble like Shukla Allah. Allah SWT allowed me to go to prison, you know what I mean, and learn yeah. myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the most And the be that was some of the best time I had in my life. And I'm going to tell you real rap. Allah SWT gave me the gift. He showed Nabi Muhammad to him to him twice, man. Alhamdulillah. Twice. Alhamdulillah. You know what I mean? That was the ultimate joint. I like, oh, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I call, I called brother. You know what I'm saying? I was all, I was happy and scared at the same time. The first time, oh, <laughs> uh, I saw that. I was, you know what I'm I was tripping. Mm. I didn't ask for that. Well, mm. I straight up, I didn't ask for that, man. But I was, I was, <laughs> I was reading Quran in my cubicle. Everybody was standing away from me because everybody was scared. But I'm saying, you know, I mean, I was in my, in my zone. Yeah, but I was into this reflection thing. That, you know, the, the, when I get out, I'm I'm seeing everybody what's going on. You know, what I'm saying, yo, nigga, what? You want to get down with me? You you want me to get down with you? what? No, man. But mm. I ain't saying this. I'm just saying, you know, I just digress from people. You know, what I mean, yeah. I, I had to digress yeah. all because of the illnesses. Yeah. So I got some questions piling up here. Um. So, uh, how uh how long were you in for, and what did Rasulullah look like in your dream? I, I can't remember what he looked like. Oh, okay. Straight up and down. The first time I saw him, he didn't say, I can't remember him saying anything. The second time I saw him, for some reason, he was sitting down and, and, and Nabi Issa was on his right side. Oh, yeah. He was on his right side. And how I knew that was Nabi Issa, I just knew it was, it was just, I just knew it was Nabi Issa, for real. I right. just, I can tell you real rap. And I swear by Allah SWT on my soul that he, that, that 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 I saw him. You know what I'm saying? If if, if I'm telling a lie, that Allah SWT will give me the worst of punishment today and the hereafter. If I'm telling a lie, I'm telling you real rap. I saw mm. him twice. Mm. Twice. Mm. twice. Uh, 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 so that, um, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting some of the sidebar, some of the questions on the slide. <laughs> I don't, they're not coming in chat. Um, so uh, so um, have you? Uh, spoken to Muhammad Ali since this, and if not, what would you? Because I'm sure he's going to see this, or someone's going to share it with him. What would you say to him as some advice, or you know what I mean? Just um, you know, anything that you think maybe he could benefit from. Well, I'm gonna tell you, uh, this is for anybody. I mean, I, <clears throat> it mind boggles the heck out of me. You know, just just for for black people, all of us, you know what I'm saying? Just picture this, right? You got all, you got the Chechens, you know what I'm saying? You got all the Chechens, Chechens. they're all white, you know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. got their own community, right? You go and you live amongst them. How would you feel? You know what I'm saying? And you, mm -hmm. you go solo, you solo, right? So we got to put it into context like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, this man who is, he ain't from us, you know what I'm saying? As far as being raised in our, you know, like us, you know what I mean? So he don't know the illnesses that we dragging on, we dragging, right? You mm -hmm. know, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, you know, I warmed up to one of the reasons why I warmed up to him. You know, I understand, you know, look, man, you know, you, you're solo. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you here. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you, you know, you sticking in there. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you here, right? Okay, you yep. my brother, right? right? Brother, you know what I'm saying? If you got a heart, if, if you got heart, 
right? Which is you got courage. If you got courage, because it takes courage to do this type of stuff, you feel me? You know what I mean? Right. Not me. You know what I'm saying? Because brothers tell you, ask me, you know what I mean? What's up, support? man? Look, I don't what I don't care about. I, mm -hmm. I feel I don't fear none of that stuff. These these. What I'm saying to Muhammad Ali, you know what I mean, brother? If you got courage, yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah. you'll stand, you'll step up to the plate, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we all talk about again using the analogy. You know, what I mean? we all talked about being in the in the game. You know what I mean? We all talked yeah. about getting to the Super Bowl, Jenna. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I mean? You know, you know what it's going to take. You know what it takes in order to get in the game, right? Because everybody's getting paid, everybody getting merit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody mm -hmm. getting paid, getting, you know, everybody getting, the, you know, get paid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to continue to get that check, you know what I'm saying? And be cool with it. You know what I mean? Lord might still, you know, you still might get us. But I'm saying you feel good with taking your check home to your family and all. You know what I'm saying? Step up. Step mm. out. Come with Come with Um, I don't think, do we have any more questions, uh, Mubarak? Um, I don't have any from my end. Um, let me see if there's some. Amr, did any come else come through in the chat? Mm, uh, he pretty much covered them from just saying I'm talking about okay. So, okay. okay. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Um, I think this was a very, very good um show. I'm definitely going to share this with some of the uh, uh, the older uh, 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 brothers and sisters that I know of because of some of the references you made to some of the old, some of the um, the uh, Benny Hinn and Father Divine and, uh, you know, those mm -hmm. those type of things, I'm sure, hopefully that will uh, will resonate. Um, but, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's everything from my end. Um, mm -hmm. Jaffer, uh, do you have anything else? Um, yeah, i just like to say like, what you mentioned about um, I know it may not seem big to you because you know, you're not that type of person, but like you said, what you're doing is very courageous and it's very beneficial for the, uh, the people that are hearing it. So I'd like to commend you on you coming on the show and sharing your story with us and talking to the people and giving them your perspective. And um, we don't really know when we say something, the effect it has. And every time someone speaks, it has a great effect on a whole different segment of people that need to hear what they're specifically saying so what you're saying you know inshallah is going to lead people towards the right path so may Allah bless you for that and I want to thank you for that and R2F our group thanks you for that and all the other people that support us thank you for doing what you're doing so yeah one, one more thing man um yep go ahead emphasize the point man you know i i sincerely man for real i think about extreme you know like everybody know abel Eason, right you know that was in my hand you know you know you know what i'm saying and abel Issa, the way he was living you know it's an it's, it was extreme you know what i mean less fortunate you know what i'm saying it was extreme right but i love that man you know what i'm saying I love this family. They used to come over the house. I love their family, man, for real. So we have to we have to always be mindful that there are people that are less fortunate, man. And all I'm saying to the, you know, if anybody were to hear, you know, hear me or anybody else, you know, hang in there. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully these characters, you know, these brothers, you know what I'm saying? These brothers, you know, I mean, will do the right thing. Cut that stuff out, man. Stop being so greedy and stop being lazy. Get your hind parts out and work like everybody else. Mm. Mm. All right. Um, um, so it said, uh, someone said that uh, um, Hasina has a question in the chat. Did we, did we cover that? I, don't, I, I didn't see uh, Yeah, it. we covered it. It was a question about uh, the drug dealers from... Atlantic City and uh, giving money oh, okay. to the administration. Uh, oh, okay, um, okay. But we do have a brother in the R2F chat who hopes that you can come back on again, inshallah, and tell him more of your story whenever you get a chance. So he just wants to know that he he really enjoyed the story. He wants to come on back, inshallah, when you get the chance. Yeah, let me What you what yeah, you say? What you say at the beginning? You know, you uh, talk. There's a, a brother in the, in the R2F, <laughs> there's a brother in the R2F chat who uh, is happy you came on. He really enjoyed your story, and he wants to to come back on again, inshallah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just to know, comment on, 
just to comment on Hasina's uh, question is, um, I I have confirmation of um, people doing crimes for money um, that they confirmed it was sent to Mubarak Jelani and he knew about the crimes. Um, people robbing banks, sending the money over, um, getting arrested, getting abandoned by the Jamaat after robbing banks for Jelani and sending him the money. Um, so that's happened. There's also, yes, in, in the chat, um, the brother, Ms. Bahodin has just mentioned the charter school scam where they were um, fraud for millions of dollars. And this is already confirmed and it was being sent over to Pakistan to Mubarak Jelani. Um, so this is something that is, um, it's as far as specific cases, we're not going to have too much direct proof and evidence of that unless the people who did it themselves confess to it. But I mean, you're not going to get too many people who's going to say, yeah, I was uh, selling drugs and sending the money to Pakistan because it's going to incriminate themselves. But this is something that is known in Tamaway. In fact, um, it's a common, commonly known thing that especially the beginning years of TMOA, um, and I can't say Mubarak Jelani said this himself, but his leaders said that he said this, is that anything's permissible, permissible as long as you get permission, and that's it. So people would sell drugs and um, give it to the administration, fund them. There's certain administrators that their family members were involved in selling drugs and other crimes, and they would fund their lifestyles. They would happily take money from them. And then even after they get caught doing the crime and get arrested, the people would get kicked out the Jamaat. And as they're kicked out the Jamaat, the administrators would still go to them to uh, get money and stuff. So this is something that is kind of known. Um, yeah, it, uh, Mike Russell, um, journalist from uh, Canada, has uh, mentioned the uh, workman's comp scams in, in Colorado. I mean, it's just crimes all over that have been caught, that have been tried, proven, and the money went to fund uh, Mubarak Jelani and his family's uh, lifestyle. So that's kind of confirmed. Thank you about you. That's tough. I mean, I mean, we got just everybody, man. Everybody who listening and said, you know, every we got to keep laziness and greed at the top. When you got when you when you look at the individuals, you know, what I mean, look at the look at the patterns, man. Because if, it, it, but you got to look back in history, you know, in order to relate, you know, be able to relate to what's going on. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because a lot of people are still ignorant. They don't know. Yep. They don't know that this is, that's, it's, it's, it's already been done. You know what I mean? The pattern has already been set. So all you yep. got to do is just learn it. You know what I mean? Get with somebody who who, who you think who you know. I mean? Y'all get together, get with groups, you know, what I mean? and learn this stuff, man. So you, these people, we need y'all need to stop giving these daggone people y'all money, man. Yeah. You yep. gotta stop giving them daggone people. Get them niggas. Y'all need to. Yo, they need to work, man. Yeah. Because it's, it's just, yep. you know we all should be working, man. You yep. should feel yep. good as a man to get out and work. And if you just don't to back good, that up feel good to get out and work you know what i'm saying something wrong with you well just to back that up with and mubarak can help me out with this but there's a hadith where prophet Muhammad some said that even if you have to go and collect wood which back at that time that was like the lowest paying job i guess like you can compare it to like working at mcdonald's or something go and collect wood for people at least you're making money for yourself and earning it yourself yeah. I'm not, I've heard that before. I'm not exactly, um, I don't exactly remember the, uh, the hadith or its authenticity, but I know the one where the said the best, um, the best wealth a person can earn and the best thing that a person can earn is by their own hands. Like they put mm -hmm. forth the work and the effort to earn instead of, you know, right. receiving it or like an inheritance or something, you know, where yep. you haven't worked for the money. So if the best money you can get is that which you in a halal way earned um then absolutely the worst money you could get is what you earned in a haram way passively i mean like literally just yep. taking Not the haram worse. from from other people so i mean it's like <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally i mean <laughs> I guess there's, you know, and this is not from Rasulullah, of course, but I guess there is, there is at least a little bit of 
something you can get from a person who, if he does it the wrong way, if a person, even if he's like an armed robber or something, at least he's, you know, he's making the effort in himself. I mean, not to condone that. I probably shouldn't even go there. But um, <laughs> the point is that, I mean, some of these people who are literally administrators or, you know, Khalifa, whoever, and literally, you're just literally riding around in your expensive car who has been paid for by other people, telling, you know, literally collecting money for a bigger criminal, a bigger uh, oppressor, and your job is literally just take money from hardworking people and waste it or spend it, you know, and act as if you are, you know, um, doing something good. It's the worst way that a person can earn some money. Yeah, all types of things that they are um, getting. But I probably should, uh, you know, I don't want to go off on a tangent. This is that. Uh, this is our, well, our just, brother Abdul. Just to close show. that loop, we, someone sent us to Hadith, and this is Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "No one has ever eaten a better meal." The net which one has earned by working with one's own hands. The Prophet of the Prophet of Allah, Dawood alayhi salam, used to eat from the earnings of his manual labor. And this is in Sahih Bukhari. For anybody that wanted thank to know. You. All right. I think um thank you again, brother. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for us. Just to let you guys know, we're gonna be on again, inshallah, Saturday at 8 30. We have a very, very big interview. On, on Saturday, we're not going to spoil it for anybody, but um, it's going to be, I'll give you a little teaser, it's going to be the first lady that is going to be on our show. So uh, breaking breaking ground here uh, with, with Saturday's show, so please tune in. Um, again, thank you everybody for, for, for giving us your support. For all the, the trolls, um, keep it up. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they give us the support too. I mean, yeah, but I, don't, I mean, I think the trolls. I mean, they haven't even. I, I think um, they 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 were disarmed tonight. I don't think they really had anything um, except for so they they kind of hit out tonight. But it's okay. Yeah. It's all good. Um. So yeah, that's um. That's everything from from uh from my end. Um, Amr, right. you got anything? Nope, I'm chilling. Good brother. All right, um, brother. Good all right, brother. Okay. All right. All right, Shukran uh, again. Jazakallah khair. Um, Mubarak, he closes out. out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Subhanallah, Rabbika, Rabbil Aizati, Amin, Yasifun, Assalamu alaikum, Muslim, Alhamdulillahi, Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum, Warahmatullahi, Barakatuhu. Wa alaikum, Assalamu alaikum, Warahmatullahi, Barakatuhu.